All right, guys. Uh, hello once again. Uh, welcome back to uh, Ocha Kellen Real Estate. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much. I uh, just realized I had over 100 subscribers. So, like, thank you very much. It's been maybe like a little bit more over than the week since I started the channel. Uh, thank you very much for all the support. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, getting right into it, uh, the last video I did, I talked about, you know, how do you get started? And I gave a very simple explanation as far as like just figuring out the area that you want to be in and just kind of driving around and start targeting like, you know, different types of properties maybe that you would like to live in or would like to invest in in that particular area. So uh, the next thing is how do I find property? And so honestly, the way thing or the main thing that I use is Redfin. You know, I look at Redfin the way that people look at social media. Like I scroll through Redfin all day, every day. Now, of course, there's other apps besides Redfin. You got Zillow, you got Trulia, you got all types of different apps. And of course, if you already have a broker, what you can do is you can ask your broker to start sending you properties personally. Now, typically, if you go that way, your broker has access to the MLS. That's the multiple listing service. And so typically, that's going to be the most accurate source as far as a property is still on the market. It doesn't already have offers on it. And so it's actually really available for sale. Now, if you use Redfin and some of the other apps, they're usually they're pretty good also as far as being up to date. But the MLS will be the most accurate. So I recommend everybody download the app Redfin and just start looking at properties like, you know, you can put in different features as far as what you're looking for, different filters, different areas. And just, add, and, just, and just that simply, you can kind of start to find properties like, you know, in your area or what other, other areas that you want to target to look at. All right. So I would recommend everybody to start getting toward that. And also, the next thing you want to do after you kind of start, like, you know, look at the properties and stuff like that, when you want to go on a drive-by, do that yourself after you look at the property online. All right, for the next video, I'm gonna go in a little bit more detail what a drive-by is, but for right now, I recommend everybody start maybe downloading the app Redfin, downloading Trulia, and what you do is use those filters and start looking at properties. And I always tell people, even if you're particularly not ready to buy at this moment, you'll be surprised what you'll find as far as what's available. You know, it's just like going to go shop for clothes at TJ Maxx or even if you're going to Neiman Marcus or whatever fancy store, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, whatever. You never know what you'll find until you'll go look. All right. So even if you're not ready to buy, remember, just start looking, just start getting your mind ready to be in the mind of purchasing something. All right. So next time, thank you again. And uh, of course, if you haven't found me on social media, you can find me at Ultra Kellen. So that's at U-L-T-R-A. K-E-L-L-O-N, and that's for Instagram and for Twitter. All right, guys, thank you again. Until next time.